Hello, ladies, chins, and fentanyl zombies. We return to Rimworld, our eldritch tale of despair. Never abandoned. Just set aside momentarily for the Elden Ring DLC. I've been debating, hmm, maybe I should just concentrate on the DLC. Just play all the way through it, then come back to Rimworld. I probably will do that. Rimworld is going to be a, like a very long-term series. We're nowhere near getting that ship ready. Which, if you'll remember, is the long-term project of this colony. Going deep underground and building a ship somewhere. And then leaving this accursed place so we can go to the homeland of the Empire. That's still the freaking goal, okay? We just happen to have fallen into this horrible mountains of madness full of terrible paranormal uh, uh, things propping, coming up of the underground, all kinds of horrible setbacks. But the objective is still to build that ship, get the hell out of here through any means necessary, eldritch or otherwise. I've queued up a few constructions. I wanted to set this up with a security door, which we are now researching. I thought it was part of the anomaly research, but no, the security door is right here after auto doors, right there, security door. And it only takes 700 research, so it will be nice to have. It takes 50 blast steel to make those, so I think to be pretty expensive to have those. Pretty damn upsetting. This creature is mad as hell. He's not gonna take it anymore. Wonder if you set up, set this up with double doors, probably will increase the security, huh? We're I'm building this to be a little bit closer. Apparently, revenants are pretty high up on how dangerous they are. So, you know, don't want to be messing with this creature. Going to be pointing three electric inhibitors at it on top of the shard inhibitor. And it will be a security door enabled too. Uh, we're going to put security doors on this one as well. Because this will also be eventually a high level containment unit. Making sure that everything is properly taken care of. Apparently, also new knowledge in the comments, bookshelves attached to research stations and make them better. So we're going to put a bunch of bookshelves here. We're going to move one of these. So there's a little bit of dec decorative space. We can put either a statue or a plant. And it will be great. What else? What else? We're building a billiard table over here, you know, getting that entertainment zone a little bit more taken care of. It is too barren, too bereft of the good stuff. Needs some more materials. My beer is so ready. My beer is almost ready to get harvested. Oh, finally some beer. Hops are ready to harvest. So let's make this into rice. I want one, one round of rice. What? Garulanlen pod sprout? Ooh, how worthless! I hate it! Actually, yes, let's, let's harvest. We're going to plant it. I'm pretty sure that effing damas can afford doing that because, you know, we have robot plant, planting robots. So it's not that big a deal. I really want also to research that. Sweet high mech deck. Um, I believe you will need a multi analyzer for that, so that's also queued up. Other than that, I think that it's all just moving forward, so carry on. Covert construction excavation. All right, this is, I think this is new. Oh, info about T Rose's horn, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was the orbital, orbital spacecraft hack. This is sending for food to come to our doorstep. I think we should do it right now. You've detected a... Let's see the, this thing, though. Anarchist, Hindic Steersman of Mogwall. Jesus Christ. Has discovered an ancient complex a long distance away. He believes it contains information. Anarchist can come spare people to look into it, but hopes you can help by supplying exactly eight colonies. This is a fat place to go. It's uh, another one of those high trouble kind of complex. But... They're also the ones that are the least hassle because you just accept it. The shuttle comes in, you send your people, and, you know, it's a pretty fast-acting kind of thing. So we will definitely keep it around. We'll accept it eventually. But I want this orbital spacecraft hack. We're going to accept it 
uh, as soon as the morning comes and people are, you know, feeling pretty good. We may even send out La Katrina preemptively to the middle of the field so he can quickly run to where this spacecraft, spacecraft is at. And if things go okay, I might even farm it for more than one siege, for one, one, more than one raid, because uh, we could use the, the food of those wonderful people that are coming to take my knowledge away. Thankfully, we found some compacted machinery here. I was about to say it is time to go strip mining. There is just no more components out in the open. And merchants don't want to come around with their components. I want more components. 62 is going to evaporate in record time. What the hell is this? Oh, this is where, where the Revenant died. All right, good, good. I'm so glad that we got rid of that threat. That was a triple episode threat. It was annoying as hell. There's no electricity here. Uh, we need the, the the we need some power. We need power running through these walls, please. Very important. Just make that redundant right there. These fat sows properly contained. They only have a 73, huh? Hmm. 97 is kind of low, but they'll bring the the stuff and it'll be good. Wait until the morning, or rather, skip some time until the morning. Then I'll accept the quest. All right, our hops are being harvested. Absolutely glorious. And as soon as the... Ooh, nice. Shape and reform bio bioferrite. You to useful tools, weapons, flooring, and more. Why would you want flooring <laughs> of bioferrite? I, I am sure we'll eventually find out. Let's get those disruptor flares. I've been... I've been traumatized. By the Revenant. Bioferrite plate. Heavy plate flooring made from smooth bioferrite. While ugly and slightly flammable, it's quick to clean and increases the containment strength of nearby holding platforms. That's nice. How many per plate? Four. All right. Interesting. And bioferrite shaper. A workbench used to craft bioferrite products. Clearly, we want to build one of those. Anomaly... Shaper. We need 40 bioferrite, though. Let's build it. Why can't I build it there? Oh, because I just don't have enough? That's fine. Uh, I would like to have a compact kind of setup, you know. This is a decent spot. Why not? Actually, let's get rid of this dumbass crafting spot that we'll never use. Because apparently, you just cannot make those bows that I was trying to make. Put that there. Eventually, it will be built once I get enough the, of the bioferrite. Which, uh, you know, it's only a matter of time. We do need more power. Please, build power conduits. Here's Blargo coming to do just that. No, he is not coming to do just that. Do the power conduits! Prioritize! Alright, much better, much better. Hey, we got power. Now, 102. Good stuff. And once this gets powered, which I don't think that they reach, send down a power conduit like that. Here comes Blargo. Going to build the last one. Prioritize the conduit, please. I really wish... That was always number one priority. Okay, this is like super high containment. Ha! Get wrecked, you filthy... Filthy revenant. You will never escape. I will torture you to the end of eternity. Ah, yes. Anyway. Crackhawk Bagley, how you doing? You're doing great. Come out to the... Wait, weren't you like half stupid now? Yeah, my bad. Go back to research. I think La Katrina is the one. That we want. He's missing a... Oh, man. Go, go eat a meal, La Katrina. What the hell are you doing? Who else is good at research? Crack, 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 great. La Katrina. Blargo is good at researcher. But he's not going to go out there to hack a freaking terminal. Unfortunately, even though Crack, 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 crack is the smartest among us, uh, he uh, he's missing half a brain. So, <laughs> not the greatest. Go out. I hate that she's got no sleep. 
How about you? I do have some wake up. Yeah, take some wake up, La Katrina. Of course you're... Hey, we got a new slave, Neme. Hmm, more like... Heap of trash. Slave medic. There you go. Heap of trash. Welcome to the colony. Go live in a hall. Alongside fat hurt nerd. There you go. <laughs> Gratuitous, gratuitously cruel for no reason at all, at all. Zero deserving. I don't even remember where we got, we got you, but I am glad that you are now with us. Like Katrina, why are you standing there? You took the, the wake up. All right, great, great, great stuff. Get out there. And we're going to accept this spacecraft quest. As soon as La Katrina is out here. Accept. Space droning coming. Jump location. I am glad that La Katrina is this way. And I am glad that they are pretty close. We can mobilize. We can mobilize everybody uh, at a pretty quick moment's notice. Okay. Raise the ramen in 11 hours. Uh, how do we want to do this, though? Like, they will be arriving... Well, it's not guaranteed, right? It's not guaranteed they're going to be arriving from this side. I think they will. But it is not guaranteed. Just in case, before that timer is close to finishing... Or as soon as that timer is close to finishing, I will draft everybody and line them up. Make sure that they are ready to defend just in case they come from this side. But I think they can come from wherever. So we'll be ready. And hopefully it won't be pirates. Hopefully it will be just pathetic savages. Does it tell you? The Axe Tigers. Uh, factions. The Axe Tigers. They are just pirates, which is bad. <laughs> They're actually pirates, which means they'll bring guns. They might even be bring rocket, rocket launchers. They can be a problem. So, you know, we'll take it as the high-level threat that they deserve to be treated as. And now we're going to get floors. We're going to have... They exist. Don't worry about it. I'll find... Ah, they're up here. There you go. More fungus. Because the fungus farms, they just cannot keep up. It is just crazy. Just outrageous. So do we have enough chem fuel generation? I think so. Even with all the, the boomalobes that I was selling. I think it's fine. A suggestion that I feel was excellent. An excellent suggestion. Oh, that reminds me. Even though she needs treatment. That reminds me. To go to Neme, which is heap of trash. Doctor Care, blah blah blah. You can self tend, and uh, that would be work. You will be our number one doctor. Basically, the entire of your job is being a doctor. Whenever you're not doctoring, just haul and clean. If really the place is completely clean. You may go mining, but only once the place is 100% clean. You little piece of garbage. You little heap of trash. I never converted you, huh? Oh, no, that's just the faction you're for, but you are of our religion. All right, good stuff, good stuff. And it's very nice because he is a wimp. Look at that. Wimp. That means that he will never succeed at escaping. He is wearing some freaking good armor, though. What the hell? He equipped himself so thoroughly. Excuse me, you little piece of trash. You absolute heap of garbage. I don't have harnesses. This is a tragedy that must be corrected. Would that be here? The smithy? No. Just the tailor? The tailor makes slave body straps, huh? All right. All right, I want it done, I guess, out of leather. We'll make it out of dread leather to make him extra upset. There's no reason to do that, right? Human leather. Yeah, human leather because he is part of the Blarconites. There you go. Human leather. 
Uh, anybody can make it, really. Just make sure that it's 10 and up. <coughs> and then make a slave collar. And just make it out of steel, right? There's nothing. No, it doesn't need to be fancy. Make it out of steel. So it's extra uncomfortable. You know what? Just out of human leather, too. There you go. And also make it a very nice, well-made collar that will give them zero options to flee at any point. Speed factor 113. Room cleaning is reading bonus plus times 100%. Eh, I don't know. I think it pr probably needs some kind of some kind of books, right? To be able to give bonuses to the research. My man, Lacatrina. Milady. Halfway there. Are you doing okay? You did take a lot of drugs. Definitely not going to get the Oh man, I need to I need to pause. I need to get rid of all this nut. Oh, still recovering from that dreadful co dreadful cold. Four hours arriving. Those those rates arriving. Three hours. Let's start with the drafting. Everybody, right? Let's not do any kind of half measures. Everybody out here. No, not you, La Katrina. Hack that space drone. Do not interrupt yourself. They also get experience for intellectual this is pretty uh thorough experience unfortunately the decay is so terrible by now that a getting of above the 13 intellectual is going to take forever okay two hours we're going to have a bunch of filthy creatures just in case we're gonna line up like so Actually, that's bad. There will be a lot of crossfire with La Katrina. Let me put them like so. Uh, if they come from this side, well, they're going to regret it pretty quickly. If they don't come from that side, well, I guess we'll figure it out. Meanwhile, all the good stuff is continue being done. We really don't want a heap of trash to be equipped with a freaking recon armor. He is st strictly... An indoors person. It's going to be our backup doctor for when Blargo is otherwise occupied. All right, all right, here it goes. That was so fast. Like Katrina. What a genius. But the raid still arrives, though. I don't know how far this explosion goes. Please, everybody, go down here. Make sure that this thing doesn't blow up in my face. All right, raid. The Axe Tigers have arrived. Indeed, they came from that side, huh? Uh, they have a, a pile of children. <laughs> well, uh, extra tender. <laughs> Just extra tender flesh. Is it? Is it all children? Uh, all right. <laughs> extra tender flesh. Do not underestimate. Or you will be caught. You you know, they are freaking it's children with miniguns. Do not underestimate their capability to mow us down into oblivion. So, unfortunately, there's an exploding space drone between me and these children. Let's uh, move over here and then set up a line of fire like so. <laughs> ah, RimWorld. Even when I'm not even trying, the war crimes keep happening. It's gonna be great to watch these poor bastards. Holy crap. This is a doomsday rocket launcher. <laughs> Why? Who entrusted these savages? Who entrusted these savages with this madness? <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. Blargo. Not you. Let's see. Let me... Uh, definitely a Marsman command. We're looking at the equipment on these people. Here's the Psychic Insanity Lands. You must stop the Doomsday. The Doomsday rocket from going off. Actually, Insanity. I was going to shoot it at their own. 
I would much rather like he will turn around and shoot them. It's okay. He'll get gunned down quickly. He'll just get gunned down. He will not get time to shoot that rocket, okay? That's what we're counting on. <laughs> Let's see. What else do we have? The shield from Fire Foam. Nothing else, huh? I don't have any other emergency items. Uh, how about Ragman's powers? We do have some chaos skip. Teleport the target to a random position. Certainly we can neutralize one of the weirdos with that too. Twisted Obelisk is ready to use again. Oh yeah, I was about to say earlier. The... Didn't I have an orbital bombardment unit? I think nobody has equipped it. That's the problem. I think it's like in here. Could have sworn I had one. Anyway. Have one slave take all of the... <laughs> of the mutations... And see what happens. How many mutations can a, can a slave take? Anyway. Mm, I could have sworn, buddy. I could have sworn. I need to I need to actually look. Let me check real quick. I simply overlooked it. Here it is. The orbital bombardment targeter. The unit designates a target and transmits the coordinates. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, this will destroy a lot of the flesh. But uh, I don't want to mess with this. This can literally just kill me. It's bad. It's bad for me. To be killed is bad. I mean, we are shooting down range like freaking maniacs already. Are you insane yet? Berserk. Now see, th this guy is shooting. We need to take down this child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you even reach? No, you cannot. But maybe if I advance a little bit. Born to crawl. Shoot bell. This child needs to go down. Wonder how long the orbital bombardment takes to go off. Man, that's huge. It feels so gratuitous though. It's just a bunch of kids. What's the worst that can happen? Please. Oh, well shot. That child had it coming. Mm-mm-mm. Bargo, please. Genevieve is about to murder us all. Uh, actually, you can chaos skip there. Chaos skip her. And she just stops being a problem. Look at that. Wonder what happened to her, though. Genevieve! <laughs> Welcome! To our breast. <laughs> wow. Excellent. <laughs> oh. Quest completed. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, four components too. 50 uranium. Great deal. 20 health on 20 health packs on that. That's amazing. A free minigun. Everything coming up, Millhouse. Grenade was shot. A free doomsday launcher as well. This is a problem. You know, the two miniguns going off are a bit of a problem. Tempted to use a shield, but I don't think they're going to kill us. I don't think they're going to. I'm going to advance Meg. Meg, go over here and shoot people dead. I probably should be advancing, huh? Let's see, not Meg, and not, eh, I can't tell who's got, oh, uh, there you go, no born to, no effing damage, all right, they're, because they're already shooting, get a little bit closer, hopefully this minigun will not destroy me too hard, like, these shots are a problem, Ratman just got hot, hit pretty hard. Ah! These damn children have too much of an arsenal. Kill Eddie. Born to crawl. Fire Ochoa. Make bodies ex excellent. Uh, 
Slave body strap. Just what I needed. How resilient are these children? Time for you to jump forward, Hike. Time to show them what we do to unruly children. <laughs> Megan, embrace your inner demon. Club hammers head off. Holy crap. Blargo is... He just lost a toe. He's right there in the, in the front lines. Uh, fall back. Please, go down. <laughs> okay, Hike clubbed some buffoon. All right, they are fleeing. Man, but not before I got shotgun pretty hard. That was uh, way more dangerous than I had any right to be. But I am so glad that we can club these children in the head until they're dead. Jump over to Simon. Kill him good. Meg, carry on. <laughs> oh, baby. Ah, oh, a good old-fashioned massacre. Damn it. Some children are escaping. Catch CC. There you go. <laughs> I mean, they were not very resilient, but damn, they had the, a crazy pile of firepower. That was just awful. Absolutely awful. There is a, there is a landscaping very close to my window. So if you will give me a moment, I'm going to try and get rid of this this sound i'll be right back the impact of this child raid was actually pretty high check out the wounds going on here there's a whole bunch of gunshots because you know we were just fighting in the open so a lot of these fellas caught some straights some strays many toes lost those shots i mean of course they were children so the, the shots were close to the ground. So obviously, that's why everybody lost toes going on here. Another uh, person, like Katrina, the, the, the savior of the day, getting that hack so quickly done. Got shot as well. But hey, that's okay, because now we have a new slave doctor. Come on, Hike. Get done clubbing this child to death. One more hit. Bruh. How can you possibly... Be losing in a fight against a literal child. <laughs> well done. Well done. Ah, they were they were hopped up in Yayo, man. This is just this is a tragedy before our very eyes. This is just truly disgusting. Truly absolutely awful. They're not even worth <laughs> they're not worth saving. We're just going to let them bleed to death. And uh, but it's very nice to grab all this stuff. Oh, bio-coded? Are you kidding me? Really? Are all these weapons bio-coded? No, only the good stuff. <laughs> only the... No, not the triple rocket launcher, not the doomsday launcher. The miniguns are not. It's just the good stuff. The Hellcat rifles are bio-coded. For... Forbid them. We shall not even touch them, just... I mean, you can always... Yeah, you stick them. Because I think they will at least give us components. Maybe perhaps even bioferrite. That will be very nice. Blargo, come on. Stop being a pussy and get back. Get back to your spot. Um, I don't know if I have done this. Really should have set this up a while ago. For our doctors to carry medicine. Ephendamus... Carry some medicine. Uh, Nix with Gerald. I don't know why you are on on regular meds. And heap of trash also carry medicine. Really, everybody should carry medicine just for the sake of having it. Break soul. Is there a reason why you take regular medicine? Not really. It's all right. Heap of trash is here to to. Uh, Cure all your ailments. Anyway, there was a thing going on. Hacked space drone quest completed. The dark grizzly bears. Nicolas Paleoloca. An acolyte of their, the refugee empire. Recently lost a scouting party to a, to a pack of 30 man hunting grizzly bears. He wants to draw the beast toward you. That is insane, but the reward is decent. 
30 grizzly bears though. I mean, it's not that big a deal when you have a nice choke point and uh, you can maybe chuck the ciders in at the front. It's not a massive problem to take care of any size man hunting pack. How are people doing? As long as there's somebody treating everybody else, effing Damas is on it. Blargo, you're treating the, the... They didn't even check with the elephants. They just absorbed a few gunshots, but they're doing fine. I like your priorities, Blargo. You're like, I gotta take care of these animals. You look, uh, the people they're taken care of by the lesser doctors, only I can take care of these uh, poor animals' wounds. He just an uh, uh, animal lover. What can I say? He just loves them. Maybe because unlike people, the elephants are not food. So, you know, he has a heightened level of respect for such creatures. Consuming a fine meal. Don't you want to maybe heal your, you know, your fellow colonists? That would be great. <laughs> that would be great. Blacko, get around to it. It's okay. It's all right. All right. We got this going on. 133, because we made the place smaller, I guess. And I, I did this double layer simply because I want to have space for the secu security door without the room ever becoming open, you know? So that made a lot of sense to me. Only 73 containment strength. Wonder why. Maybe it's because there's a third holding platform in here. Let's put another a security door here when we research it. Wonder what it takes. Uh, 50 plasteel, right? And my plasteel reserve right now. That's not it. It's uh, this one? Yeah. That's decent. But it would be nice to find some plasteel somewhere. I would appreciate it. Okay, how are the wounds doing? Uh, not let. Sometimes RimWorld refuses to treat certain ailments, such as ragman's. Please. Reserve by La Katrina. What is La Katrina doing? Why would La Katrina be... Oh, she's a doctor. All right. <laughs> that makes sense. How about you just clean the freaking hospital, okay? These infections cannot be allowed to happen. How about grave there? Let's uh, pay attention. People with open wounds all over the damn place. It's just outrageous. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Animal filth, that's fine. There's no wind blowing. Truly outrageous. What is the... 53 components. Please stop telling me all the ma major risks. What is the problem? <laughs> Why? Kill the child times four. So what? They were trying to kill you. Hey, that is done. We can now get the high mech tech. Um, finally, some security doors. It's not even here, right? It's just in regular structures. Security door, two components, 50 plasteel. Oh, they're fat. I didn't realize they were fat. Well, I guess we'll put one out there. That is a lot of plasteel. And we will also put one right here. needs uh, adjacent walls to function that makes a lot of sense let's put it like so and then we will deconstruct that garbage once uh, the time is right and of course we'll have uh, yet another one here <coughs> this is like the super high level security area is eventually going to be we're going to have three more on the other side and a security door and probably also a shard over on this side so it also affects this area over here good stuff good stuff Void provocation. Eventually, we're going to do some of that, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can use the Twisted ob Obelisk. We can mutate somebody. So, who are we going to mutate? We chose somebody. Health. Who did we give a random mutation earlier? Da -da 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 -da. There was a Flesh Tentacle. That was a fortuitous. Flesh Mesh Lung on Crack Like Back Bay. Let's see if we can have Crack Like Back Bay grow an extra head. That would be hilarious. I mean, he's a super useful member of our team, but it is funny, though. <laughs> so, over there you go. Trigger a mutation, Crack Like Back Bay. Nothing bad will happen to you. Don't worry. You're just going to become 
a superior being. Go over there and do your thing. What you get? What you get? Prosthetic arm, flesh tentacle on the right shoulder. He just gets better manipulation. That's about it. I mean, the, the pain probably will keep going up, right? 120%. That's great. On neutral structures may become dangerous. Yeah, yeah, that's great. He's just uglier. He doesn't even get pain. He just now has a tentacle with which he can choke his bitches. It's just great. Great development. <laughs> no downsides whatsoever. All this rice being planted. Hike building my gorgeous mushroom patch. It's my... Oh, yeah, look at my beautiful library. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a place that we're actually going to smooth. Uh, uh, smooth surface. Whoopla. And these walls as well. We built one of these. So, who is our least... The worst mood that we got. Earlier it was T-Rose. But she's doing better, even though she has all this, all these damn health conditions. Intense pain. Killed a child. Why do they have these scruples? It's just so silly. Anyway, who is the longest with H reversal? Erica Dawson. And Erica Dawson was also pretty freaking annoyed all the time, right? Chemical hunger, recluse, very... Yeah, she she's had a, a, rough a rough time. What is even your purpose? Cooking in animals, huh? All right. You're the next one, Erica. You're the next one getting H-reversal. There you go. Very nice. 36 minutes in. Major break risk. Hike is just fed up of planting mushrooms. Just go take care of yourself, hike. I mean, you did murder three children with your uranium mace. It is understandable. I, don't, I mean, I don't understand it because I'm not some pansy. Set owner, this is for slaves. You are now heap of trash. You are now fathead nerds. Wonderful new roommate. Have a fa fun old time. In that new area. All right. Security door installed. This must be like the most secure. Whoa! 260. That is massive. And it does make sense. You know, why? Why? Why remove this? Just leave the double doors and all that stuff. Probably it contributes. It really makes sense. You know, the investment is pretty big. 50 plasteel is no joke. It's That's like a thousand silver or, or something silly like that. So... You know, it makes sense that it would be a steep increase in the amount of uh, money that you get. All right, we get some high destruction items that will probably never be used. Hike continues to be mad. <laughs> What's new? Let's put some good lights over here. Make sure it's well illuminated. I think that also contributes, right? Pretty certain it does contribute toward the the security of a spot. Oh, this one has an expiration date. Uh, we're not going to kill 30 grizzly bears. I don't think I want to do that. I'll pass on that, thanks. But no thanks. Hmm... I wonder why Erica Dawson still had chemical hunger. Like, don't you want your psych IT? Are you perhaps an idiot? Hey, that's right. We have a bionic arm just laying around. Who will be the lucky bionic arm receiver? Blargo already has one. Ragman is doing fine. Nobody is really has... I mean, there's somebody here missing a middle finger and a right middle finger. Break Soul could use one, for sure. Hike is a high candidate because she clubs people in the head all the time. Helps quite a lot. 
fine. This is Crackle Black Bay, right? Yeah, yeah. He's just going to keep mutating. Don't worry about him. Uh, index finger shut off. Meg could also use it. And she has no enhancements. Meg, congratulations. You are now the new wonderful owner. I do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to give you a bionic arm on the left hand. Left shoulder. Install bionic arm. Ooh, hey, a uh, psychic like sooth. Don't mind if I do. On the left shoulder. There you are. Actually, I never checked the everybody else. Let me make sure that nobody actually, like, needs it. Shattered nose. Brain. Oh, come on. Cold shot also go, uh, got a brain injury? Buddy. This sucks. <laughs> That's bullshit. Okay, everybody else is fine. Yeah, so all right. Meg will take it. You're going to have industrial tech, blah, blah, blah. Meg, where are you? Go get yourself a new arm, Megan. It's fine. Blargo will take care of it personally. Actually, he's asleep. Eh, somebody will get around to it. Don't worry about it. This operation will be 100% successful. Nobody is concerned. Just take that bionic arm like a Trina. You're a decent doctor, right? Seven, though. This is a bad idea. But you're already almost done, so I'm not going to stop it. Hey, <laughs> good job. Good job. Learned a lot. There you go. Meg has now a bionic arm. And the other arm eventually will be replaced by a drill arm for the purposes of being an incredible digger. So that's going to be great. We're going to have a few batches of rice. Just for the sake of having it. You know, it's like having a little bit of uh, reserves. And then we'll change it back to hops. Budinium. Daughter of Evan Damas. Evan Damas, you've been busy out there. What the hell? Monolith study complete. La Catrina has completed her study of the monolith. The structure is a conduit that links to the void, a reality hidden under every point of space time. The void is inhabited by a vast machine intelligence and terrifying complexity that surges with nightmarish and human rage. Its influence creates horrors in our world, awakening the monolith with fully opening the conduit. With the channel open, La Catrina believes she could reach through the link to permanently close the conduit or find a way to harness the dark power. The monolith now provides more knowledge when, when studied. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Well done, La Catrina. Gaining all sorts of dark eldritch knowledge. Soon, all the mysteries of the universe shall be revealed to us. We'll partake of its plentiful bounty. Anyway, we had... Oh yeah, let's see what this yields. Yeah, you do get some bioferrite. Uh, we had a slave harness. Crack like backbait? No, I mean... A heap of trash already wearing it. But there was also... Like, he's wearing the collar. I want you to wear the harness, wherever it went. That's right, there's a search function now. Harness. No? Slave? Human leather slave body strap. It's right there. Oh, it works! Force wear that. No, not leather. Pants. There. Take off the armor. Put on your constraints. Fathead nerd, you don't have one either. Right? How dare you not wear a freaking harness? This is just outrageous. My slaves cannot be allowed to cavort in my colony with a proper attire. Anyway, 45 minutes somehow. When you are murdering children and mistreating slaves, it's all good and fun. Just, just lose track of time. We'll see what happens in the next episode. I don't know when it will happen. I'll probably concentrate on the Elden Ring DLC. And then we'll get back to RimWorld. And all the atrocities that can happen in here. Whoa!